What's going on everybody? Uh, just getting back from a beautiful morning on the lake. Just got done cleaning a pile of crappies, but have four or five walleyes here. And somebody asked me on one of my posts from uh, the last couple days, if I would do a video on how I clean my walleyes. So we're gonna start out with the big one here. She's got a nice big belly like you guys can see. So expecting to see some shad or crappies that they haven't already puked up in the live well. But with my knife, I just get a nice groove here right back behind the gill. Take it straight down to the backbone, turn the blade. Go right down the spine. Leave a little bit of skin on there so you got something to grab onto. Angle it right along the skin. Take that fillet right off. You guys can see this fish got a lot of eggs, full belly in there and no blood because I've cut the gills on all these fish. So all these fish are nice and bled out. So we'll take the ribs out of this one real quick. Just angle your blade so you don't miss any of that belly meat. You got that on uh, these walleyes and stuff. They do have a strip of pin bones here. Some people like to take those out. You can just put a little notch on either side of those and then rip those out. I'm just going to leave it as is for now, but you can do it just like any other kind of zipper technique. Just zipper those right out if you guys want and then keep the top there. But we'll flip this one over, get the other side. Big hunk of meat there. Again, a lot of eggs, even in December, just like the crappies on the white bass. Take the filet right off. Looks good. Take the ribs out, angle your blade. Go right along them. Great piece of meat. So you've got your fillets. Then what we do is I take the wings from a lot of these. A lot of it, a lot of people talk about the cheek area right there, but I like to take the wings first. It's kind of an acquired technique and acquired taste, but if you guys have not had walleye wings, highly recommend trying it. But you just gotta take that big section of meat out right there. Pop the uh, skin off and you've got a giant chunk of meat. Same thing with the cheeks, just go in from the side. I don't particularly care to do that with an electric knife, but we're just making it work. But then you can pull the skin right off of there. It's hard to do with one hand here, but that's got you a little perfect little scallop kind of piece of meat. So that right there between the cheeks and the fillets is how I clean my walleyes.